Bramley Gore Malton. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Finance. Mr. Speaker, in 2010, this government slashed benefits paid to Ontario drivers by 50 per cent. Now, these changes resulted in $2 billion of annual savings for the auto insurance industry. Now, this resulted in savings far more, far more than tackling fraud alone. Yet, in the past two years, drivers have paid 5 per cent more in premiums. Why will this government commit to passing on the billions of dollars in savings onto drivers in Ontario? Good question. Minister of Finance. Mr. Speaker, thank you for the question. As I've stated before, we do not want rates to be increased any further. We recognize that we need to do better than the status quo. But let's be realistic about what we're dealing with here. The cost of claims in Ontario are 10 times higher than the cost of claims in other provinces. That relates to a cost of premiums. We've taken steps in the past to try to minimize that price increase. That's why the price has only increased by 0.26% since 2006, but we need to do better than that. And I will work with the opposition from both sides to make that happen. We'll look at taking the steps necessary to get at the root causes before us, and we need to do better, and we will. Thank you. Supplementary question. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, we definitely need to do much more, and everyone agrees, everyone agrees that we need to tackle fraud, but drivers deserve a guarantee that any new recommendations implemented, any new steps taken are connected to lower premiums for drivers in Ontario. Over the past two years, drivers have seen their rates go up time and time again. In my meeting with industry CEOs on Friday, I made it clear to them that this is simply unacceptable. Why won't this government commit right now to reducing auto insurance rates in this province by 15% over the next year? Good question.